it is time to welcome Mike Holmes to City Line. It's been too long. Come on up here. How are you? I'm good. That's How good are you? you? Good to see you. You're looking good as usual. Well, so are you. I mean, I immediately noticed this slimmed down version of you in these overalls, right? It looks like he's lost a few. Just a couple pounds. Just, Just a, a couple, couple pounds. pounds. Yeah. You look great. Okay, we want to spend a little bit of time today talking about uh, roofing, okay? We know that you are the premier dude when it comes to fixing the homes and making sure everything is up to code. So a lot of things can go wrong with a roof. We have a whole bunch of pictures of roofing problems, and then we're going to talk about some options for solving them. So let's start here. What is going on in this picture? Well, that's critters. Critters can get in there nice and easy. And once they get in, let me tell you what uh, squirrels can do to your attic. They'll chew on all the electrical in there, never mind move all the mm -hmm. insulation that can cause a lot of problems. So we've had a rough winter. This is the time to take advantage and look at your roof. Too many people concentrating, I want that new kitchen. I know. Forget it, start with the outside, protect the inside, then move inside, do the kitchen, bathrooms, and I don't care what you do, yeah. start with the outside. It's tough to spend that money on the stuff that you actually need that isn't gonna be pretty. If your roof looks like this, do it. that's not good. If What's your roof wrong with that? That is a very old roof. It's been beaten by the sun, it's been beaten by the weather, it's starting to fall apart. And too many people don't actually do anything about the roof until it's starting to leak inside the house. Okay. This is why we need to address it from the outside. Well, I asked you that because that's what my roof looks like. <laughs> you need a new roof. Okay, good to know. This is, a, well, this is what we call a closed valley. So that's the valley in the roof. And yeah. you're seeing where the shingles join. One underlaps, the other overlaps. And you can see it's starting to curl. And that's probably from a lot of snow. Again, too much snow, ice dams, it can get up underneath it and create a lot of damage. So you need to look at the signs that are talking your house is talking like your your kids saying my stomach's upset Fix me. it's talking to you listen to you All listen right. to it okay call in a roofer next picture we have up uh, if you take a look at this now What's this the, issue there? the flashing around the chimney, you can see the caulking's pretty good, but what we're doing is pointing out this is a vulnerable point to the roof. Yeah. A lot of times water can easily penetrate that brick. Actually, in a rainfall, it'll penetrate the brick right to the back side in two hours. Oh, wow. So if water can get in and around that and back down again, and you pull that off and look at the sheathing underneath it, you're going to see a possibility of a lot of rot. So places to look on your roof is definitely the chimney, vent stacks, and vents on top of your roof. Okay. Okay, so now you say if you're having any of these problems, you actually need to call a roofer. Let's talk a little bit about how you find, hire the right person for that job. Yeah, I've said this a million times. If you think a pro is expensive, wait till you hire an amateur. <laughs> That's the truth. Right. See, now you can look underneath that, uh, what it Ooh. looks like, and it's so... To do a new roof is on average five to $10,000. And you want okay. to look at that, and that's really smart money. If you don't do it right the first time and you wait, and you wait too long, the damage comes in, you're talking mold growth on the inside of your home, water damage, and that price is now going to escalate to thirty to $50,000 depending on the Ouch. damage. Ouch. Might as well go buy a new house. Well, Not that you could get one in Canada for thirty dollars I, I say, I say do it from the outside, then work your way on the inside. How are you finding a good roofer? What credentials are you looking for? There's a lot of roofers on the market. I mean, there's a lot of good roofers on the market, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of roofers that people are jumping into the business, especially when it rains, it pours. They're going to come in, and these guys just aren't good enough. You want to ask all the right questions. You know the standard. Are you licensed? Are you insured? Do you, are you covered by WSIB? Really important questions. But things like, you know, if I do a new roof, do you want to take the shingles off? Do you want to go over top of them? I want to hear them say, we strip it every single time mm -hmm. so we can take a look at the sheathing. You know, how busy are you? Can you start tomorrow? No pros can start tomorrow. So you got to pay attention to that. Okay. Let's talk about some options you might want to consider once you've got your roofer, you're happy with who you have, you've checked their credentials. There are all sorts of different ways you can go. This is key, and I like that. Here's a designer shingle. People like that because it really looks nice, but it's yeah. an asphalt shingle. We're used, we're used to the, uh, the standard cedar that you put on the roof. I don't do that. It's big, it's big out west. It's going to turn green, and that's a mold growth. But I want to talk about this shingle for a second. That's okay. an oil-based product. It's really going to use a lot of environmental oil, 
increase the price of oil, not to mention it's extremely flammable. If there's a fire next door, the embers come across, land down on the roof, and your, your house burns from the roof down. It can actually burn from the top down. Do most people have this? Like, Almost is it... everyone has ah. an asphalt roof. I'm against it. We can move up to the ladder and we can go into a, a, a clay tile. It's fake. This is manufactured, man-made. It will last a long time. Mm -hmm. Good on the winds. We can move into the metal roof, which I'm really big on. This you're going to see a lot of barns, a lot of farms. And it's just your standard, you've seen it, long pieces of steel that come down, joined and ribbed vertically. Here's the big one that I want to talk about. You love this one the best. I do. The metal roof on the mark, and it looks like the shingles, so you can yeah. make it look like shingles. The reason I want to talk about the metal is it's guaranteed to last 50 years. Now, a lot of people say to me, from asphalt to metal, especially one like this, it's going to be two and a half to three times the cost. Right. Don't look at it that way. If you look at how long that roof is going to last, it's not going to last you a long time. And bang for your buck, you're going to lose. You'll be replacing your roof three times with using this compared to this. And right now that tells you for the money, this is where you go. And it's fire rated. How long is that going to last you? 50 years takes the highest years. wind. Okay. This is a ceramic that's on top of this. Yes. It's a galv aluminum product. So it's going to last minimum 50 yeah. years. Yeah, okay. You know, excuse me if I wasn't asking the right questions. I was distracted by the bling in your ear. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Look at that. They're awesome. Can I borrow them after? Sure. We maybe do an exchange? This is for my dad. This is for New Orleans. That's very cool. I like that. Uh, listen, great information on the options out there. We love having you on the show. It's always good information. I think we really respect the fact that you keep everything to code. People are building at a crazy rate right now, so it's nice to know that people need, are following rules. Or right? above code. Or above code. Remember, that's a minimum. That's the Mike Holmes way, right? Yes.